Hello everyone, my name is Kishan and welcome to this video tutorial. So this is the list of videos that I created on how you can connect to an Oracle database and execute queries. So in this video we will see how we will use the fetch one method to fetch one row at a time and work with it. So in the previous video we used fetch all where the complete data set was returned as a list of tuples. But in this case, we'll just get one record and then we can just keep on executing fetch one and we'll get keep on getting the data one after the other. So let's jump on to a Visual Studio code and just let's create a new file over here and call it fetch one example dot by. I'll take this fetch all example because it is very similar to that one and I don't want to write the code all over again. And in this, the small change that we have to do is, I'll, I'll just read through the whole code. First of all, you import the module needed. In the try block, you create a connection. If there is an exception, it gets caught here and this gets printed. And if no exception get traced, it goes into the else block. Here we have another try catch block. So in try, we create a cursor and then we give her the SQL statement that we want to execute. Then we use the cursor.execute method to execute the SQL statement. And earlier we had used fetch all method, but now we want to check fetch one. So I'll just change fetch all to fetch one and let the code be as is we i'll remove this for loop and then i'll just print the row the data that i have got by executing the fetch one method simple as that so when i run this code as you can see i have given select star from ceos actually it, it should have returned all the data that is in the table but here it just returned one tuple and that is what is meant with fetch one method. When you execute it, you get one record. Say suppose I execute it again, I get one record. Now, if we jump onto SQL developer, SQL developer and execute it, you get four records. So what if I want the next record to work with? You need to just use a variable the same variable or a different variable and just put the same code again and then let's print and see what is there in row 2 saved execute and here you can see this time it gave you the first record so it came here it did cursor.execute.sql then it went and did uh, the fetch one method. So the execute method would have got the data and kept it with the cursor. And then we use the fetch one method with the cursor and we stored the data into variable and just printed it. So this is the first time that we got this row, Steve Jobs, Apple 56, and then we did fetch one again, stored it into a different variable and printed the same. So here you can see you get the next row. You could have done it twice again because we now I'm not changing the variables because I'm not using them again anywhere this row will just get replaced but just for the sake of simplicity let me do it row 3 over here let's print me the row 3 row 4 over here and let's print the row 4 over here and save the code and I'll run it again so when you do it you see that all the four rows are returned but there's no fifth row available so what if you do row again will it raise an error or will it just pass on you can pause the video and guess it or else we'll just see right now i run the python file and then you can see that for the last fifth row because there is no row now more available to loop through it just return none so it does not raise any exception or error. It just returns none. And this behavior is also followed with the fetch many method. So in the fetch many method, if your SQL has returned just two records and you say fetch many five, so fetch many basically you can give a number to it and it would just return those many number of rows back to you. So if you do fetch return 
for more records than what are present or available then it returns null none for those it, it just it would not go and raise any exception it would just not return anything so this is the implementation of fetch one method and how you can use it in the next video we'll see an implementation of fetch many this is Kishan signing off thank you